this distillery had been producing great whiskey, we all knew that. But actually, nobody really understood what happened pre the still. You know, where is it grown? You know, who's growing it? And the more and more we looked at that, we thought, well, actually, this is key. Because actually, from what we could see, is nobody out there really cared. Look around behind me and I think this distillery almost died. This distillery was closed you know, like 12 years ago. There was nothing, there was no casks and new wares. So you look at it now, this is the spirit of the future. Terroir is what's important to us. Actually, where does this stuff come from? I feel quite proud about this one. You know, it's Isla whiskey made by Isla people. Skill of the stillman and the mashman and the farmer, it's all there. It's very close to our hearts because we're making something that's is very unique and it's, as I say, because it's from Isla, it's the same DNA as us, it's, it's very special. And the environment plays such a major, major part and all we do up the Fladdy. This is what it's all about. And here you have it. Next stop is Canada. And that marine influence you will find in the whiskey. It's good stuff. The other advantage of growing barley is the straw that comes from it, the straw bedding is Tremendous for keeping cattle and sheep dry. It's true to say that I've learned a lot more here than I ever did at university. It's powerful stuff, very spiritual stuff, you can feel it. You can't help but be caught up in the enthusiasm. There's been times where we've come up with a recipe and he's been high-fiving me in the tasting room, you know, and, and jumping around and really excited and, you know, it's as if he scored the winning goal of the cup final sometimes, you know, it's, it's incredible that that passion he has, uh, that you can't help but be won over by it and be enthused by it yourself. You've got to taste everything in this business. You've got to taste, God, you've got to taste the yeast. We don't have gas chromatography. We don't have colorimetric. We don't have any computers whatsoever. So we rely heavily upon the operator. So through the night, as the world is sleeping quietly, our guys, Distilling. Sometimes you want to get away to see all the shops and all the lights and whistles, but once you're away, you want to get back even quicker, you know? So that's the character of Isla. It's good. And just over the hill at the distillery, we have 40,000 casks, and they, like me, are breathing this air. It's just a pity you can't get smells on camera, because the smell of this mash is really quite sensational. So we work together as one big family here. Because the place is relatively small, uh, if someone comes up with a good idea in the morning, it can be implemented by the afternoon. It's a labour of love, you know what I mean? It's an enjoyable place to work. The day that our 10 year old came down the line for the first time, the spirit that I created back in 2001, that, that was quite a poignant moment, realising that we've uh, both been in the same journey, the whiskey in the bottle and, and myself, we've arrived at the same destination but uh, through different routes. Some people could say we're crazy, but we're crazy in a good way, you know, it's a good thing. And we're having fun. I love the job. Just, it's been in my family for years right through. So The good thing about this here, it's the old style, it's the old fashioned way. And this is the way it was done in every distillery years ago. As you see, there's no computers here, nothing. It's all, all down to us, experience. <laughs> to see 60 plus people being employed really warms my heart. 
it's so encouraging to see all these young people working here. It's more than just a job, it's, it's a way of life, you know, and it, the great thing is you get paid for doing it. You come here, you really enjoy what you do, you meet fantastic people from all over the world, you're making a great spirit that people love. Since the distillery started, our life has changed completely. We never have thought 12 years ago we'd be growing barley for a distillery in Isla. We never have thought we were supplying spring water to the distillery. The water goes all around the world. Anywhere the whisky goes, the water's with it. Unbelievable for us. Tremendous fun and we're very lucky and we're glad you came on the scene. It's changed our lives completely in a good way. You could travel to the four corners of the earth and you'd never ever get something like this. Whether it's talking to the farmer or looking at the soil or just talking to the cats. It's good to talk to cats, you know. They're just like children. And we watch them grow and we watch them mature and we watch them change just like children. And that is probably the most rewarding part. And then when you put it in the bottle and you think dreams have been realised. <laughs>